Bronze tattoo in Appleton, Wisconsin. Worked here for uh, just about nine years. I've been tattooing for almost 23 years. Uh, I've got a huge skull collection. I like oddities. Um, I've got a good partnership with 43 Skulls here in Appleton. Um, we display a lot of their stuff in the shop. Skulls, any kind of weird uh, science stuff. I had half a human head in my hand a couple weeks ago. Um, that's it. We just do killer tattoos and look at dead shit. Uh, I made a cereal bowl out of a $900 human skull a couple years ago uh, for a photo. displayed in my room. Uh, I made bone jewelry, uh, weird art pieces out of skulls and taxidermy and uh, bugs and stuffed animals. Uh, I do a lot of dark art. Most of it is anti-religion or something poking fun at, at religion. It doesn't matter which, but it's mostly uh, Catholicism tends to be the point of my jokes. Ever since I started working here, <clears throat> I've always seen something out of the corner of my eye, and I just kind of wrote it off to this or that. Um, uh, it's always in the same spot in the back, uh, from like the clean area to the back booth. Uh, three, four years ago, uh, we were here late working on a on the website, uh, the three of us in the office, no one had gotten up, no one had moved for over an hour. And then these blinds just went <laughs> like somebody uh, running their finger across it. My buddy John, who is a pretty big, scary looking dude, uh, I was like, did you guys see that? And John immediately jumped up and grabbed all of his stuff and said, yep, and leave it. Um, so <clears throat> I keep seeing all that, uh, that whatever it is, it looks like somebody walking back and forth. It always looks like uh, they can catch in the, the back end of somebody's heel of their shoe. Um, and then uh, one of the other guys recently who's uh, very, very religious and about spirits and stuff like that came bursting into my door telling me how I saw somebody walk into Greg's room I went back there, there's nobody in there and he's freaked out a little bit and uh, I was like oh good, somebody else is somebody else is seeing this thing and the same thing, he said it looked like the back end of somebody she was walking the same spot in the clean room to that back office do you know what used to be here before the tattoo shop? Uh, it was a chiropractor's office. Um, and then before that, I don't care. I don't know. I know that that back room though was uh, x ray room. So I don't know if that's if we got bad x rays or maybe it was super old x ray room and they didn't know about radiation and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. But that's other than that one time with the blinds there, it's always been in that. That back area. Have you guys had anything else move other than blinds or heard any noises or? Um, so there, there's an old thing with uh, with tattoo machines. Like you never crank the vice down. It's like a tattoo 101. When you're done with the machine or it doesn't have a tube in it, uh, you can close it. You don't crank down on it. It'll injure the vice and then the thing's useless and blah blah blah. blah. From time to time. I've come in and machines that I use every single day, they're like wrenched down. And a few times I thought, you know, somebody's, somebody's fucking around. Yeah. Um, it would have to have been an apprentice though because all the other artists that have been doing this long enough know that you don't do that because you can permanently alter the frame and, and screw it up. So um, that, I. I don't know, I, I kind of want to blame it on that, but maybe it could have just been me in a hurry too, but uh, sometimes
sometimes it's it's more than one machine. I could see if it was one, maybe two, but not three or four. Seen anything else move until uh, the other guy Miro had said something a couple weeks ago. I just kind of chalked it up to whatever, and it is what it is. But when he all the hairs on his neck and the little hair that he has on his head are standing up in his arms, and he, he rocks the, the ball at the end. He was certain he saw something. Um, wasn't supposed to be there. Maybe they kind of hung. So, have you guys come in and do, do what you do? And so, we figure it out. Sort it out. Sounds good. Does it make you feel uncomfortable at all? Well, I. My, my personal beliefs don't. It's just the next, the next part, right? Like uh, that's why I collect the skulls, especially the human skulls. And, you know, if Memento Mori, you're gonna, you're gonna die. You're an innocent, so you only got so much time here, and uh, and whatever happens, happens. So yeah, I, that stuff doesn't bother me. Tell me about the batteries. Alright, so normally, like, my machine is battery operated, right? And after every long session, I normally, like, put my battery to charge and put in a full one. Well, I always make sure that, like, it's full by turning on the battery and making sure that the light is white, you know, like, that's the, the, the indicative that it's fully charged. Um, so I'll, I'll do that. And then the next morning, I'll come back, and it'll be close to dead or definitely used, you know what I mean? So, like, instead of having a charge battery now, it's switched out to, like, a, a, an empty or a uncharged, I should say. Tell us the story of Bob Red's work. something um and you know like we, we're all inclusive at the shop so normally what we do is we go look for each other and tell we tell the story of what just happened it's hilarious well that day as like i'm remembering whatever happened at the moment um i was laughing to myself and i saw the heel of a shoe enter greg's room so I walk over there because I'm going to tell him what, what just happened so he could laugh with us or laugh at whomever we were laughing at. Um, and as I get there, I, I see that his room was completely empty. At that point, I just, I turned white. I was like, yeah, that that was not my imagination. I definitely saw somebody walk in. Did it look like a sneaker or like... I, that's why I thought it was Greg, because Greg always wears boots. The boots. And it, it's yeah. dark, right? It's either black it's dark. or dark brown? Yes. yes. What is up, Wisco fam? It is me, Sugar, and Mumsy. And today we are in Appleton, Wisconsin at Big Guns Tattoo. We're really excited about this one, guys. Uh, my friend Brian actually works here, and uh, he contacted us about a month ago when I was in Vegas to come here and do an investigation. They got some stuff going on here. I think this might be a good one. The link for Big Guns Tattoo will be down in the description. So if you guys want to go there and check it out, get yourself a tattoo here at a haunted tattoo parlor, which is pretty cool. Um, and also I'll put their links for the Instagram and everything like that so you can check them out. We're going to see what we get. Um, it's going to be a little exciting, see if we can get any EVPs or anything like that. So yeah, we actually um, are going to leave this camcorder going towards the hallway, which they're seeing. Uh, I guess the clean room, uh, there's a, a clean room, I'm not really sure what that looks like. Uh, it's got to be toward the end of the hall where they clean all the Oh yeah, probably. Assuming the clean, oh this might be the clean room where they sanitize everything. And they're catching an apparition walking, I think this is Greg's room. Uh, right across here or it would be this one. So uh, that's pretty interesting. Looks like these are just two bathrooms here. I do want to show you guys Brian's skull. This is the uh, bowl right here that he has. It's pretty neat. Got a lot of different oddities, guys. 
in the shop. He's got brain tissue over here. We got a recorder just sitting right here. He's got brain tissue. He's got a heart right there, and a rat, a lot of different goodies in here. All the hairs on, up on my head. What do you mean you just saw something? Mumsy just was back there putting the night vision up and... In the back room where? Right there. In that room. Somebody was standing there? Yeah, but he's right here. Right in here. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. It's uh... Go get the recorder. Even though Brian's room is very heavy, uh, if you're seeing something back here, I think that we should put. If there is a spirit in this room, I'm going to leave this device right here for you to speak through. Feel free to tell us anything you would like. We mean no harm. We're just coming to see who you are, what you may want. In the room on the left? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. last one on the That's left. That's where it's always going. Yes. I don't know if I explain it well, but it's always here um, to there. Like here I'll record. Here. To there. <laughs> you can see yeah, record my, everything. my room is like right. That's my gaze right through there. Right. You know what I mean? So I tend to catch it here, closer to this cabinet. Sure. But it's always going in the, his to, room. To Greg's room. Hero was standing here talking there about that shit, and so he. So you always catch the foot going control. in here. Yeah, but it's, it's always like, like, like that much. You know what I mean? Like yeah, like, that like one, catching the tail end of them. That one step. That thing's creepy when it goes off and you're not anywhere by it. Yeah, all the seems pretty creepy to me. It's very interesting. Feel free to show yourself or speak into this device if you'd like. You can touch the device back there in the room. Anything you want to do. Just so you guys know, there are some little bugs playing around in here. Uh, obviously, because out in the front, they have the light on. So you will see some bugs. So don't mistake those bugs uh, for orbs. So just keep your eye out for that. Sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Sorry about the bugs. It's, it happens. I'm going to go in my room and set this down. Okay, yeah, you're good. Can you touch that device in there? Just to say hello? Mumsy's gonna grab the uh, K2 meter. Do you not have enough energy? You can use my energy if you'd like, but you cannot harm me or any of us. But if you need to use my energy, you can to make that go off. Mumsy has a device you can touch here too. How about. How about, just in case you're nervous, we'll turn off all the lights. Can you touch any of them now? You can touch this device too. Don't be afraid, we know you're here. That's a given. I can feel you here. Can you feel it? Yeah. I know you're here. Are you playing hide and seek? Your hairs are? Yeah. Even the ones I missed with my razor. Don't be afraid. Maybe we'll go to the front. Can you touch this and change the colors? Oh, there it is. There you go. Can you touch it and make it go higher? You can use Mumsy's energy, like I said, as long as you don't harm her. There you go. Great job. If you touch that other device on the table, it'll actually make a sound. Can you touch that device or either one of them? You're doing a good job. We always see it when there's no one back here. Like that. Nobody's in the bathroom. Nobody's getting anything. So. 
I know you're here. I can feel you. There it is. You just spiked. Yeah. What? You touched me. <laughs> you scared the crap out of me, huh? Yeah. Maybe, maybe we should. Maybe we should. It's gonna be hot, gonna but be hot. it is what it is. He's gonna shut the AC off. I'm gonna use the spirit talker guys and see if maybe I have a device that you can speak through right here and, and we'll hear you talking out loud. You can use your words and let us know maybe what your name is or maybe you like it here. Maybe you used to do tattoos or maybe you like tattoos. choose well I mean it it's up to you what you want to do if you want to speak into here and tell us your name or if you want to touch any of those devices that's that's all up to you whatever you feel comfortable doing it seems like this is your favorite room why is it your favorite room I respect you well that's good I respect you too we don't mean any harm we're just coming to talk to you is this your favorite room How did you get here? That's Little Caesars next door. That's out of spirit, just so you know. We should be gone by now. That's right. As long as they know where it is and it's not anything. <laughs> well, maybe it's, I wouldn't be surprised maybe it's good. Maybe it's not used to me being up that way. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> My shirt just moved. Are you tugging on my shirt? We'd really like to talk with you. <clears throat> I don't know because the little Caesar is being over there. Hall. The hall. Are you out in the hall? Where are you? Mumsy back there. We're going to get this other creep out here. Guys, what? Yeah, Maybe sacred it's your ground. sacred ground. Was this sacred ground? Sorry, guys, for twisting. All the hair are standing up on your back. All the way down your leg. Yeah, as soon as you walked away. It went all the way up your leg, and it was flipping it for a little. Did you have tentacles? No, because I had it right here. Can you touch this meter again? Visitor. We are visitors. You're right. My name is Sugar. And I'm Mumsy. And we're from Go Get Em Paranormal Team. So we come and speak to spirits for people. And we see if, if spirits want to talk to anybody or maybe they have something to say thank you for doing that can you do that again we need to turn off the air conditioning is it cold where you are i'm glad you like that device can you knock on a wall or knock on a door. Yeah. Like in the cleaning room. Was that you that made that noise? Back in the cleaning area, the sanitization? Avoid. Avoid. 
I hope you're not trying to avoid us. We don't want to avoid you. We always come to make friends. So much for touching this. You know what time it is, guys. <laughs> All right, you can talk through this device again, and we'll hear a lot more words if you'd like. <laughs> what is your name? Spirits out here. You can tell us. So, I, I don't, it's almost like, I'm going to leave this going, it's almost like, it's it's almost like it's shy around them. Like, it, it it's like it doesn't want you guys to know it's here, and maybe that's why it's like hiding so much. We're, we're rowdy. Maybe, we're I, know, I don't know. You know. Maybe it, it watches you more than anything, it just watches you guys out of curiosity. I, I don't I don't want to be that guy right now, but when I was coming back <laughs> from next door, yeah, that light that's over the window outside flashed, and then the whole time I've been outside, it's been flickering like randomly. I don't I don't want to be that guy, but that's it odd. that it's new. That's not a mirrors. There there are mirrors here. Do we need to find a mirror? Are you in one of the mirrors? Is that what we need to do in order to see you? Look in a mirror. Here's a mirror. Can you show yourself in that mirror? How about this? I have an idea. That's what we'll do, just in case you're a little shy. I keep feeling like somebody's watching us on these doors. Do you know if this one door was open this far? I'm gonna have to remember look that. on the video. The door, uh, more than like the, oh, the bathroom? Yeah. That one. Yeah, it's always open. Okay, but the bathroom door was only cracked like that, right? Williams. What I'm going to do is, we're going to go take a break. I'm going to leave this here. And you can talk into it. You can talk into this device right here. I'll leave this device here if you want to talk in there. Did it say Williams? Williams. And uh, we'll leave you some time to yourself. If you, maybe you're a little nervous or something. Can we take this up? If I 
Uh, oh, nope. You have to, you'd have to put it on the table somewhere over there. See, that could be going off possibly because of the no. REM pod. Is there anything electrical over there? Uh, where? Where you're standing, Mom. Could be why it's going off, maybe. It's a chair. Are you guys in that corner? Yeah. 15. See? On the other side of this wall is uh, the circuit breaker, and there's an access oh. panel right behind this picture. Okay. So well, it could not, be. I'm not close enough to that. I wouldn't be surprised. Here, this wall, you said? No, that one. No, no. This yeah. wall? It yeah. Right here. Is the, like, if you move this picture. Where's he looking? Oh, right there. Yeah, I wasn't over Back there. Back in that closet. Look, yeah. see? Well, something's keeping it on. But it's not fluctuating. That's what makes me wonder. Well, the yellow is. But that could be the strength of a current. Coming through. There's nowhere to put it though. Yeah, that we're gonna catch on a camera though. I'm on this. Found. Maybe you found him. Go back there again. Uh, or is it uh, that? I just looked up uh, our address with chiropractor, and that came up, and that said. Oh. See, when I is, came is your... to the chiropractor, I don't remember if this was Dr. Bob's room and the x-ray room was there or if it was... What was his name? Dr. Bob. But you don't know if it was actually this building. You don't... Yeah, but it is, was Do you know here. what the last name was? It started with a K. That's all I can remember. Is your last name O'Connor? Hear that click? Mm -hmm. the key to is flashing again. Okay, well you go ahead and do your thing. You just keep talking through this thing and... Shut it off. Ooh. Trip, trip on that, that's good. Okay. Just go out and leave it and see. If you want to touch that device, you can. You can have fun with all the toys. You heard me.
Oh, uh, yeah. I smell cologne. Why is there cologne in here? I just got chills. Yeah. This is straight up cologne, Brian. Come smell this. Yeah. I have no sense of smell. Oh, that sucks. It's hey. a man's cologne. Can you taste? Yeah. Yo, there it's is like, straight up cologne. Like a man just walked from here. Okay, so we went outside. I don't know if you guys can see me. Uh, just take a break, see if anything happens. So maybe you guys saw some stuff. It smells like men's cologne in here, big time. Like, this smell was not here before. No, it was not. It cool out. Cool out. Well, it smells good. <laughs> Whatever you're wearing, it's an old. Call out. It says. Oh, call out. It's it's definitely. Let's see. We got. 15 found Francis dominant universe eliminate sun ask you heard me cut pat call out Call out is this dr. Bob From when the old chiropractic office was here Approach Are you gonna approach us do you want to come by us? You can. I really like the smell of your cologne. Yeah. Smells good. That's crazy. I don't smell the cologne anymore. I don't either. Is there anybody here in Brian's room? It felt a little heavy in here before. Are there any spirits in here? Especially on the spirit box, so we appreciate you for that. Poltergeist. Whoa. Auntie <laughs> well, is going to go out the front door. I'm going to sit here and do the void. For some of you guys that don't know this, this is the blind spirit box. We call it the void. Again, we have merch on Teespring if you want to buy some of that. So I'm going to sit here blindfolded with my Beats headphones. I'm not going to be able to hear the questions that Mumsy's asking. You guys will. And then I'm going to be using the necrophonic um, sitting here all by myself. What is your name? Henry. Were you a chiropractor?
try it there's like so many freaking voices coming through that i can't hardly make out half of it okay. like i get some but it's i only felt one time like somebody was going to play with my like necklace i asked them to touch you and that was it that's the only time and then i felt like a like a itch but i mean it was just an itch all right guys so we're gonna have mumsy do the void this time uh for some odd reason there were just so many voices going on that I can't, it's really hard for me to pick it out. Maybe Mumsy can do a little better. So we're going to see, maybe she'll get a different reaction. So I could have swore I heard a, a thunk, like loud, but I don't know. So you ready? Yep. Okay. Did you stop my camera from recording? Bob wear cologne, the cologne 
we smelled before. Yup. Does he drain the batteries that the tattoo artists use? Yes. There's a lot of creepy in there. You want to know what else it's messed up? He shut off that camera and this camera. Yeah. I came back in, this fucker was off. I went back to check that one, it was fucking off. Really? When I asked, and I'm standing in here, and when I asked you, are you shutting off the tattoo of stuff? You said yes. And I said, are you draining the batteries? You said yes. And I said, who's doing it? And you said, Bob. Really? Is that is that when I laughed when I said something? Yeah. Cause it came and went, yeah. Yeah. Just like that. I wanted to be in here for that part, but I, I thought. Well, it was when cute. I did it, I stopped it. Remember? Yeah. And when you started, I hit the button. So I went out there and I was asking questions, and I could kind of see you, but not really, you know, because. Usually we like to keep our eye on each other just in case like a spirit were to like try to kick you over right. or push you or something. You know, you never know. No. So nothing's happening and you said you didn't want to do it real long. So I came back in and I was walking here talking and all of a sudden I looked and I'm like, it's not recording. So I hit record and I started asking just a couple questions and then I went, well, let me check that one. That one was fucking off too. That little snap. So I don't know how long that camera has been not recording. 